What is up my friends, it's your buddy Upshell. Today I wanted to bring you guys some exciting information on brand new custom game modes that will soon be arriving for Battlefield 1, as well as a breakdown of the new details surrounding the free DLC and paid DLC being released for the game. Now DICE just revealed new information about the free map at Battlefield.com. This map will be called Giant Shadow, which is not really news, we've known that for a while, but we now know that it's going to be based on the battle between Allied and German forces from October 17th to the 25th across the Selle River, River sorry, in France. Now during this fight, the Allies advance two miles to take back the French towns of Naves and Thun Saint Martin. Unfortunately, we likely still will not see a French faction in Battlefield as the Allied forces consisted of soldiers from New Zealand, Canada, and the United Kingdom. Now, it's speculated that the behemoth for Giant Shadow will be a Zeppelin, as the map's description suggests that there's going to be a downed Zeppelin that casts a huge shadow over the battlefield. Now, instead, it might actually use a train, because due to my fierce research by looking at the Wikipedia page for this battle, there was actually a very fierce line formed alongside the Le Cateau Wazigny Railway. So maybe we'll see a train show up, Maybe we'll just see the Zeppelin. It's tough to say at this point, but I'm definitely interested to find out. Now, starting this week, players will also get the opportunity to play another custom game mode from DICE, this one being called Line of Sight. This will play out like a regular rush mode, with the exception that Medic and Scout will be the only classes available. And just to make things a little bit more crazy, they're going to throw in double bullet damage to top it off. Now, I think this is going to lead to an absolutely insane amount of medic trains where people are just going to revive each other like crazy and I really owe this to the double bullet damage actually before anything else because while scout rifles will be made a one shot body shot kill at all ranges they already are pretty powerful and some of the rifles like the dirty Henry Martini Martini Henry I said that wrong but anyways, some of the scout rifles are already one-shot kills, but the medic rifles now across all ranges will become two-shot kills and one-shot kills to the head. Currently, they actually take two headshots to kill somebody. So all of a sudden, the medic rifle is going to be much more usable and the scout rifles will be slightly more usable. And then you got to combine that with the fact that medic rifles have five or six times the fire rate, the ability to heal oneself with the class, and the ability to revive down teammates. And all of a sudden, you kind of see the lack of a choice here when you're comparing medic with scout. It really starts to seem like a no-brainer. DICE hasn't revealed whether or not radar will remain active, but doing so may make scouts a little bit more appealing in this mode due to the, the, due to the use of flares for spotting enemies. They also haven't revealed whether tanks will remain available, but I honestly think that would break the game mode due to the lack of assault players. I can't imagine any team being successful in removing tanks with K-Bullets alone, and therefore I really don't think that DICE would dare keep modes or tanks in a mode like this. I really think it would kind of break the game. Now to get into the news that will affect those who look to shell out 50 or more dollars to DICE for the premium pass, DICE has now revealed that the premium pass will come with 16 maps with 4 maps launching for each map pack, which is pretty much the standard for a Battlefield game. I'm pretty relieved by this, mostly just comparing it to Star Wars Battlefront, where I kind of may have bought the season pass and really, really did not like how it turned out. The content was just not near enough, in my opinion, for a, a pass that cost me $70 Canadian. It was just, it was abysmal. So I'm really glad that they're going to be releasing so much content with the premium pass. And yeah. I hope you guys are excited for it as well. I'm really looking forward to getting into more content with Battlefield. Thanks for watching you guys. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like down below and let me know whether or not you plan on picking up the premium pass in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next one.